Strawberry Fields Forever. This is a song that uh, one of my students recently asked me to show him, and I thought, you know what, there's too much going on in that song. It doesn't make a good guitar song. And then I remembered that there are acoustic versions of it. One of them is, of course, from Beatles Anthology 2, and one was from another album I had called It's Not Too Bad. This shows kind of the evolution of the song. And so I uh, got together putting, I uh, put together a lesson on this that is now available at Totally Guitars that the song is actually fairly easy to play. As long as you can play some bar chords, G's, B minors, there's a G minor in there and an F in there. If you can get through those four chords, and then otherwise normal chords, D minors, A minors, adding in some passing bass notes, and we even do a little introduction that you just heard. So, so the lesson covers all of that. So if you'd like to learn a nice acoustic version of Strawberry Fields Forever, John Lennon's tune that, of course, he wrote right after they had stopped touring, in August of 1966, they really played their last show at Shea Stadium at Candlestick Park, right here in Northern California, and uh, decided to call it quits. They took some vacations. John went off to Spain to work on a movie, How I Won the War, and while he was there in Santa Isabel, he started messing around with this chord progression on a guitar that was really badly, well, tuned very low and very badly out of tune. But luckily, some of those demos survive and that's some of the stuff that I use to put this lesson together so anyway what we talk about in the lesson is just a very simple strumming pattern there's some unusual time changes in the chorus where you have to be able to play a chord for three beats so there's a lot of neat little things in this so if you'd like to check out Strawberry Fields be sure to come visit us at totallyguitars.com <laughs>